GitHub Copilot X was announced recently with a ton of features, including a terminal assistant that helps you write shell scripts you don't know how to or don't want to. We're going to build it using the GPT-4 API and Python. If you don't have GPT-4 access, you can use the GPT-3.5 API as well. It might just be a little worse quality. Before we build, let's take a quick preview of what the finished product looks like. You run the script passing in a flag with what you want to do, like find all instances of the word Rust in a directory, get the output back, and then decide whether or not you want to run it. Once you run it, your dreams will come true, so let's start building. Create a new Python file called main.py in a new directory and then import all the packages we need. All of these come with Python except for two. One is the OpenAI package which we need so we can use the API, and then the other is the rich package which lets us nicely color some text and allows you to build really nice looking CLI apps. You're also going to need to get an OpenAI API key which you can do by signing up on their website. You'll also get some amount of free tokens, but it does cost money after a while. Next, load in your API key, which you can do by creating a .n file and adding your key like so. Then simply load it in with the OS library. Also, I haven't tested this on normal Windows. I've tested it on WSL and normal Ubuntu, so I'm not sure how it'll go, but it will probably work on Macs. With our imports out of the way, we can write the rest of the script. We need a function to send our request over to GPT and a function to actually take an input from the user. Let's write our GPT interaction function first. Whenever you're coding with GPT, you're going to need to write a prompt that tells GPT what to do. Here's the prompt I came up with for this project. First, we tell it that it is a helpful assistant that is running in a shell. I also tell it that it will be given a task to complete by executing a script, and that it should only return commands and no explanations, because GPT loves to add random explanations that you don't really need sometimes. We'll use this prompt in our send to GPT function. Send to GPT takes in one argument, query, which is what the user wants to do. Using a nice f string, we combine our basic prompt with our query to get the final prompt. Then we simply send it over to the OpenAI API. The model section specifies what model we want to use, so either 3.5 or 4. The messages is where we prompt GPT, and temperature signifies basically how random you want it to be from a scale of 0 to 1. So 1 means there will be varying answers, play around with this to see what gets the best results. Then we return the content that we got from the response. Next up, we write the main function. First, we take in an argument from the command line, then send this to GPT, then save the result to a script called script.sh. Again, if you're on Windows and not using PowerShell, this might be a problem. Now we add a verification step before running the command, because if you just let GPT run whatever commands it comes up with without checking it, you might end up breaking your computer. We use rprint, which is what I renamed the print function from rich to be, and that lets us color our text with tags like bold red and bold green. Then we allow the user to input yes or no, and depending on what they do, show the user the command is being run, and then use subprocess to run the script. This is a pretty dangerous activity, so again, make sure that what you're running isn't dangerous. Then we just add a section to run the main function, and now we have a fully functioning GitHub Copilot X clone that lets you come up with FFmpeg scripts that you could never have thought of. If you want all the code, it's on my GitHub. I left a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.